Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let me ask you a question. What do you think is heavier, this inflated balloon or a non-inflated one? Let's weigh them on this sensitive DIY scale made from PVC pipes. Did you also guess the inflated one will be heavier because there's air inside it? Well, your guess is definitely correct, but the reason may be a little different. Let's see why. We'll repeat this with two balls. These are the hard plastic balls which do not need to be inflated. Let's take some help to squish them. Perfect. Now, let's weigh them. That's weird. They are the same weight. If we apply the balloon logic here as well, shouldn't the inflated ball be heavier than the squished one because of the air inside? Well, to understand the science behind this, we must first understand what compression of air is. Let's assume that these two are portions of space and these are the air molecules within them. Right now, they have roughly the same amount of air particles. But what would happen if I just push some more air molecules in this space? Now the same amount of space has more number of air molecules. So the pressure of air in this system increases. And this is what we call compression of air. When we inflate a balloon, air gets forced into a smaller volume and so it gets compressed, which increases the overall weight. Because the air inside the balloon has more weight and more pressure than the air outside the balloon in the surroundings. But in the case of the ball, this ball isn't inflated. The pressure of air present inside the ball is the same as the pressure of air present outside it in the surroundings which is why both the balls weigh the same. In fact, you can use compression of air to actually put this light-weighted straw through this heavy, dense potato. When we try this normally, the air tries to escape from the top of the straw. But when we fold or cover the top of the straw, now the air cannot leave the straw. So the air simply compresses and then it makes the straw strong enough to go right through the potato. I have linked the video up here and in the description box as well. Let us know what fruits and vegetables you experiment with and we'll see you next week.